Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for everything you've done for the channel. Uh, every time you hit that like button and you subscribe and you hit the bell, it does something to the YouTube algorithm so that people who are searching for these readings will see them and I appreciate it and I know they do too. So thank you. We're connected every day. And if you are new here, welcome to you. Now, if you've been around and you've heard this before, you might want to scroll through to the reading. But if you are new, uh, just to let you know, I, I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. You On Fridays, it's always a general reading. Mondays are different styles. So one week, there's a pick a card reading. There's a love reading another week. It's also when I do the more in-depth Celtic cross readings. Those are Mondays too. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know, please? All right, let's begin here with the tarot reading, and then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading, too. You've got here the Page of Pentacles. Judgment, Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Knight of, or excuse me, King of Wands, I saw them together there, and Strength. Well, you definitely have something here in terms of moving forward, building, expanding. There's a lot of expansion with these wands here. Um, in terms of a relationship, too, if you've been waiting on somebody I definitely see that moving forward. The only thing, the only thing I think with that Ten of Swords, I think that's here, making sure that you get enough rest. You are careful in terms of I don't want to get down a rabbit hole about health, but just careful in terms of your health and taking good care of yourself. I don't see you having anybody around you that would be do something dishonest or that's not honorable. I just don't see that here. Um, I do like this Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles comes in and it's like this energy of be, being excited about a new opportunity, a new relationship. I feel like there's something new here that's got a lot of potential to grow. So if it's, if it is a relationship, again, there's going to be this expansion. But if it's something to do financially, because the Pentacles also can be about health too, but um, it's the pentacles are about manifesting. So I do feel like you've got sort of like your eye on the prize here. If you have something new with work or a new idea, it comes more like your job stays the same, but you got a new idea and it's sort of like cultivating this new idea. Now in a relationship, if you're attracting a fire sign, cause you've got Aries Leo Sag here, I, I feel like, especially if it's a Leo with strength, they really do hold you up in a high regard. They see a future with you. They see, you know, they see your good traits first. They're not looking for negative at all. And um, so with judgment, it's an interesting when we've got things like judgment, strength, and this two of cups here. I do feel like you have a very unconditional love. I mean, talk about love, compassion, love, and acceptance of who you are. That thing that I just said about, you know, they see the good in you. I can't say it any louder and clearer than this. I mean, for sure, this is a lot of compassion here. Archangel Gabriel, and it's all about leaving behind limitations. Anything that either you or somebody else in past relationships experienced, I feel like you're grow you've gotten growth out of that. It's not about bringing old baggage be behind you. It's like leaving it behind, right? And so with the judgment card too, it's having that perspective that you get from life experiences so that you become less judgmental and you become more understanding of people. It's a renewal for sure. And it's self-mastery. And that's really why we're here. It's really fully understanding yourself. I feel like whoever you're involved with, I was going to say engaged, and maybe there is an engagement here, but whoever you're involved with, I feel like you both have it though. This whole idea of self-mastery and really knowing who you are. 
and being able to be a partner. Because when you don't know who you are, I mean, my God, what, what kind of a partner is that? Um, so with the Knight of Wands, I don't see this as that in and out energy that sometimes we tend to be prone to. Knights have good intentions. I feel more like it's an exciting energy. It's all about initiation. It's about, you know, beginning something new and moving forward very quickly with it. So again, with a job situation, if you have a, an idea for a side thing, whether it's selling something online, again, it feels online. There's so much money. Um, I won't get into this too too far, but um, um, what, my kids had a teacher who was our state teacher of the year who ended up starting a company. He's a, a math teacher, like a, a incredible math teacher. And anyway, he had said he went down to work teaching part time just because he still likes to teach. But he said the kind of money you can make online, it, it trumps anything you can do in a in a business. He's like, it's unlimited. And that's what I feel like you're accessing here. It's some kind of a good idea. It's going to have a lot more potential than you might even realize. And I feel like it gives you this enthusiasm. So the two of wands here is all about growth and enterprise. Um, it really is a card of taking inventory and in a relationship, you've got two twos here. So I feel like it is that energy of multiplying, the love grows, but it's making plans for the future. And so with this too, you know, he holds the world in his hand, but he has a desire for a, a bigger world. It's you being a visionary. So you may be doing things like vision boards and, you know, really seeing things in that first person reality, kind of like how Neville Goddard taught, bringing in all the tones of reality as if it's already here because your feelings are the secret to it all feeling like you already have it. The magician teaches us that too, the card of the magician. Fake it till you make it. It's that feeling of already having it and that's what brings it around. So we talked a little bit about the Ten of Swords. Um, if you've been under the weather, this can be a completion too where you're starting a new cycle. Um, it can be a bit of a dramatic energy. So for some of you, it may be who of you just ask for help rather than getting to this point where it's almost like you hit a wall, your back's against the ropes, and then you say, hey, uncle, I need help over here. Uncle as in let go, not like as in your your biological uncle, not like that. But anyway, um, with this, though, it is a card, I feel like, in this energy uh, or in this reading of just making sure you're not getting too depleted, whether it's energetically, physically, however that resonates with you. So drink your water, stay hydrated, eat the right foods for you rest, all that good stuff so that we don't end up here. Um, and, and also, of course, you know, protect yourself against germs as needed. So we get this two of cups. You definitely have a match. So I feel like anything new that you're trying to start, any new endeavors, whether it's an online thing or writing a book or something like that, um, I even hear get doing voiceovers. I don't know if you're doing videos or something, but forever that's for it is a match. It's like the kind of energy that things flourish in terms of a love relationship. Though, again, you've got a very mature energy and a love that grows and it's a match. It's two people who want to be in a relationship, who who want to be in love. And it, I do feel like in this relationship, you have a great appreciation just for the whole idea of love and partnership and it's important. And so I, you've got a match here for sure. And I do feel like there's passion too. There's romantic energy here as well. So there's real love, but then there's that enthusiastic part that all these wands bring in. So especially the king of wands, if you're leading any kind of a group, you'll do great at this. He's a real leader and it is an energy of being very charismatic. So you may find that in conversations, you may hear later people who have interacted with you really like you. You know, they tell people they, they there's something about your personality. They just really enjoyed it. Um, with this King of Wands, though, it can lead to being a bit, um, having expectations. Like if you can do it, so can everyone else. So I feel like you inspire other people around you, but you may not have as much patience for those people who don't take action because this is an action takers card. It's all about doing and it's, it's using, but it, it, it gets dividends. You, you know, thoughts become things. Your actions are this, a part of it though, right? So we got to do something here. So I, again, I do feel like it may 
create a little bit of, if you have people around you who just aren't in this kind of energy where you kind of go, eh, you know, like you can do it too, let's go. So with the strength card here, it is that conquering spirit for sure. But she does it in a way, she she controls things through love and compassion. And I feel like whatever you meet in terms of a relationship, um, you do have a lot of compassion for a partner for sure. And so it may be too, if you're starting something new, even though you have a lot of wands and that tends to be, and I wouldn't say it's impatient exactly, but it's like you've got an urgency to move forward. With this though, you may find that if you get something happens where there's some minor setback, it doesn't become the end of the world. Like you can, in this kind of energy, you can kind of go with the flow a little bit better because you have more patience here. And you also, like I said, you know who you are. And so you know where you're going. There's no like uncertainty here. It's like any situation you encounter, you'll find the solution to it, no matter what it is. So you've got a really nice energy here. And of course she has that infinity symbol as her crown, much like the magician, we like to see that. It's infinite abundance. It's all available to you, Gemini. All right, let's see what the angels have to say here for you. All right, and a yes, no, maybe. All right, you've got communicate clearly. We always say this, don't we? The universe hears your heart. Your heart whispers the truth. So even if you speak words out, if your heart says something else, your heart will prevail, much like the strength card. Let go. Haven't seen this in a bit. Let go and let the universe. Let go and let God. You know, we don't pick the path. We pick the outcome. Really, all you need to know is what you want and feel like you already have it and the universe will do the rest. You've got abundance coming in. So you've definitely got a card or a reading in general of expansion and new things showing up. They say take action. I'm not surprised with all those wands being here. They say don't stop. So take action. Don't stop, Gemini. Good things are on the way for you. I love you and I'll be back again soon.